Hello everyone. On this video we will be converting degrees to radians and radians to degrees. Okay, so most people start off measuring their angles in degrees. Okay, so you have this right angle which is 90 degrees. You have this 55 degree angle. And you have this straight angle which is 180 degrees. Okay, and we know that an entire circle is 360 degrees around. So if you start at this point and you go all the way around the circle, you have gone 360 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna look at a different way to measure angles other than degrees. And those are called radians. Okay, so one radian is about 57.3 degrees. And it looks something like this. Okay, so this is one radian. Okay, now if you get pi radians, that's equal to 180 degrees. Okay, now this is important coming up. And two pi radians is 360 degrees. So if you start at this point, and you go all the way around and go back to that point, you went 360 degrees or two pi radian. All right, so if you're still writing this, feel free to press pause and finish up. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next page, which tells us how to convert from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. Okay. So if you're going to convert from degree to radian, you're going to multiply your degree measurement by pi radian over 180 degrees. If you're converting from radian to degrees, you're going to multiply your radian measurement by 180 degrees over pi radian. Okay. Now notice with this one, you're converting it to from degree to radian. So radian will be up top. If you're converting it from radian to degree your degree is going to be up top. So the measurement you are converting to should be on the top. That's a little hint to help you understand which one to use. All right. So if you're still writing, feel free to pause it and finish up. But we're going to go ahead and jump to a few examples. Okay, so what if we wanted to convert these degrees to radians? Okay, so we have 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay. All right, so 45 degrees, we're just going to write that as 45 degrees. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to put that over 1. So, of course, this is A. Now, because we're converting it to radians, our radians is going to be on top. So you have pi radians over 180 degrees. Okay. So these units of measure cancel each other out. So you're left with 45 pi over 180 radians. If you simplify these 45 and 180, you actually get pi over 4 radians. Okay, so this is your exact conversion. But if you plug in pi divided by 4 into your calculator, you will end up with 0 0.79 radians or approximately that. Okay, so this is your decimal approximation. All right, so what about 60 degrees? All right, so what I want you to do is go ahead and press pause and convert 60 degrees to radians on your own.
All right, so I'm assuming you've pressed pause and worked this one out. So let's go ahead and verify. So you have your 60 degrees. We're going to rewrite that as 60 degrees. All right, so we can go ahead and put this over one. And we, again, we're converting it to radians. So the radians is going to be up top. So you have pi radians over 180 degrees. All right, so you have 60, oh, the degrees, of course, cancel out. So you have 60 times pi. So you have 60 times pi over 180 radians. Okay, 60 and 180 can actually be simplified. So you have pi over 3 radian. And that is your exact value. Okay. Now, if you plug in pi divided by 3 into your calculator, you will end up with 1.0472 radians, approximately that. All right. So if you are still writing, feel free to press pause. Let me just kind of separate that here. But we're going to go ahead and move on to our next example. Okay, we're going to convert these radians to degrees. Okay, so for A, we have 1.8 radians. We're going to make that 1.8 radians over 1. Okay. Now remember, we're converting this to degrees. That means our degrees will be on top. So you have 180 degrees over pi radian. And of course, the radians cancel each other out. So we end up with 108, well, 1.8 times 180 over 1 times pi, which is pi. And we can move the degrees out to the front. Okay. So 1.8 times 180 is 324 over pi degrees. Now that's your exact. But you plug 324 divided by pi into your calculator, you get approximately 103 degrees. Once we round it to the whole degree. All right. Now for B, what I want you to do is go ahead and press pause and convert 0 0.5 radians to degrees on your own. All right, so I'm assuming you've pressed pause and you've went ahead and converted it. So let's go ahead and verify. Okay, so you have 0 0.5 radians. So we'll make that 0 0.5 radians over 1. Okay, and again, I'm converting to degrees. So degrees will be on top. So you have 180 degrees over pi radians, where your radian unit of measure will cancel out. Okay, so we have 0 0.5 times 180 divided by pi degrees. Okay, so 0 0.5 times 180 gives you 90 over pi degrees. But if you plug in 90 divided by pi, you end up with 28.6 degrees, which is just 28.6 degrees. All right. So hopefully this made sense and I'll see you on the next video.